hi my lovely viewers thank you for coming back to watch my channel again i'm so humbled thank you for subscribing too our family is increasing each day and that makes me so happy if you're new to this channel you're most welcome this is the right place to be this is the like mom here debra Nanchuka is my name i created this channel to give my viewers hope and encourage you to be optimistic no situation is permanent once you choose to work with god everything is possible Today I have another life pack to video on narcissism, uh, but before that, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. As we going to do our sharing, just get to bless us, help us so that it can have a great impact onto our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Today I want us to share. The topic is how to deal with a narcissist. <coughs> you know. I had already covered about narcissist, narcissist abusive cycle. You can check it out. I leave the link of the playlist, which is called narcissism videos. You can check it out. So, this narcissist, you've realized that this person I'm working for, this person I'm living with, this person of mine is a narcissist. What are you supposed to do? How are you going to deal with them? Because walking away alone will not be a solution or rejecting them. There are some situations you can't reject them and go away. So what are you going to do? Maybe because of circumstances. Maybe they, you have relocated to a different country and you found this person of yours is a narcissist. You have no option apart from staying together. Even, even you've signed a contract, you find your boss is a, con a narcissist. What are you going to do? You can't leave the job. You have to learn how to deal with this nurses. So I have I've come up with seven ways. I'm going to do them very fast. Uh, number one, I accept them. Now you need to understand them and accept them that this is who they are. It will be easy for you to deal with them because there's nothing you can do to change them. So number one, you need to accept them the way they are. That is one way you can deal with them. Um, point number two, break the spell and don't focus on them. If you keep, uh, in, if you keep concentrating on what they are saying, or you know they 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 they, they have full, they are full of lies. They can give false promises, and then they don't uh, fulfill at the end. Don't concentrate on them, just don't focus on them because you can find yourself easily buying to their false stories which are not going to work at the end. So what you need to do, stop focusing on them and concentrate on yourself, me as an individual. Concentrate on yourself as an individual now. Don't just focus, don't concentrate on them so much. Just break the spell. Let them know that they, they are on their own and you are on your own. Point number three, speak up for yourself. You know, sometimes you can't just ignore and maybe and go away. That is an appropriate response. And the way you can respond to an assist, maybe if it's a family member, is not the same way you can respond to your boss. Sometimes you need to choose your battles right. Uh, you need to choose your battles right. You need to speak up for yourself. Stand up speak for yourself stand on your ground speak up tell tell that narcissist i'm not comfortable with what you're saying i'm not comfortable with what you want by speaking for yourself is one way you can deal with them they will know that no this one she has not she has refused this one she's ready to do this one so speak up that is one way you can deal with them you can't keep quiet don't keep quiet anymore if you have no option of walking away, speak up for yourself. Point number four, set clear boundaries and stick to them. You know, sometimes you can say, you know, I don't like this. You know, they can just take it uh, as a mere threat and they, they repeat the same. They repeat. Next time they repeat, just take an action. Even if it's a legal action, next time they will not repeat because they will know that no this is beyond somebody if somebody is trying to manipulate you because of your private life 
maybe they can manipulate you and they tell you you know what i'm willing to expose you even on social media tell them to try let them know your boundaries that if they do what you you have you have refused or you've set your boundary if they go beyond you will take a legal action that is one way another way you can deal with them Point number five, ex expect them to push back. Once you've set your standards, yes, don't think that they are just going to accept them like that because they they feel they're above their law. They don't want to get defeated easily. They will come up with a different strategy of manipulating you to feel that whatever you, you have said is, is, is not good. They will make you feel bad for what you had already said but what you can do is remain stand firm on the ground just stand firm on the ground and know that this is what I feel and I'm not going to change point number six remember you are not a fault always remember the truth that you are not a fault you know narcissists sometimes they can they can put blames on the mistakes they have already done and say it's you who you've done they put you all the blames of their mistakes on you. This is not right. Don't accept. You know, you know the right thing. You know that you are not the one who did that. It is not your fault. Don't belittle yourself to salvage their ego. That now I have to accept so that I I don't want any complications. No. Remember the truth very well and know that you are not the fault. It is their fault and not you. So that is one way you can deal with them. Remember you are not a fault. If they can say you, you are the one who misplaced this and this. But you know very well it's not you and it is them. Just be you. In, let it not affect you. Just know that this is a lie. This person wants to hurt me. Number seven is the last one. Find a support system. How? You can join even WhatsApp groups on social media, entertain friends online. At least they can make you, you can share, you can share. Don't don't entertain somebody who is making you a self uh, to drain you emotionally. Don't entertain them so much. They are going to interfere with your health. You are going to get stressed and answer simply because you want to concentrate on the bad things that somebody has done to you. So find a support system. When you are low, you can talk to your friends and you can find a solution together. So if you like this video, thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel for more sharing. May God bless you so much. See you next time. Bye.